Welcome to String the Legs, my name is Mr. Orange and today I'm going to talk about the company Razer because Razer is also at the stock market and this is great so you you can you personally can invest into this gaming company or this hardware company for for PC and uh, and console so yeah it's the Mew the Meow Factor Razer Kraken uh, Kitty <laughs> I think uh, I don't know who she is. I guess she is a streamer, possibly. And yeah, that's Razer. So they have like a Razer. You can buy the Razer phone. You can buy some Razer PCs. I always think the Razer Blade uh, PCs look uh, impressive. So they definitely uh, interesting uh, PCs or mouse hardware in general. But of course, I'm not here to talk about uh, the hardware. I'm not uh, want to do now any publicity. So we are going to analyze their stock, which is a little bit more interesting. Let's jump therefore on you have Yahoo Finance, and that's what you see at the moment: the Razer Incorporation stock. So, yeah, let's let's check some of the fundamentals. So they have a market cap of 1.625 billion. So that's not so much. It's more more a very small company in the sense. The stock price is at 0.19 cents uh, dollars. So dollar cents, and they had they had a nice drop actually of 3.84 percent even on Friday. And Friday was everything was going up. We have no information here on your finds on the PE ratio. The EPS is uh, negative 0.01. And yeah, dividend also nothing. And if we check the fin financials, which is maybe also interesting. So here you can see on the right side. So those are the revenues. They were steadily going up, which is also a good sign uh, to put it uh, very simplistic here. Uh, and then the earnings, but the earnings were like in 2017. Oh my God, 165 million minus. And they go a little bit down so yeah before i continue also here i am not a financial advisor i'm just a youtuber making uh, videos about games and stocks but for information and entertainment purpose only so not a financial advisor don't buy razor just check out the pages i uh, i link to you and then you're going to make up your own mind if this is a stock that interests you I personally, before we <laughs> before we talk too much, so uh, before we continue, I would say I wouldn't invest in Razer, even if the revenue here it's a nice revenue that goes up overall. I w I don't see the earnings. I see really big earnings. So since 2015, they they're not they're still negative. They're not coming up into the plus uh, due to those uh, numbers here on Yahoo Finance. Uh, there are better ways to invest your money personally. But that's my uh, my first my first impression looking here at the financials. So here the net income. Do we see anywhere the cash flow? Here's the cash flow. It's always interesting to check out the cash flow if you analyze the uh, game is so free cash flow. Oh, also everything minus. So, yeah, it's it's a company full with debts. Maybe they get uh, bought by another company, so like Logitech. You can also actually invest in Logitech, by the way. So overall, if you see this, it's not. Re it doesn't really look so good. It doesn't really look so good. They make great products. We have to say this, but the company definitely has some problems. When I look at the financials, so everyone likes Razer. They. As, as a company they definitely have good a good marketing and people really really like their products but something is going wrong with those uh, with those numbers so they're very negative but we will find out uh, maybe what's the reason is so in 2019 oh my god they were dropping so hardly so they uh, yeah. I think and then in uh, December 2017 was then the IPO and from there 50 dollar cents uh, IPO and then it was dropping my god they almost lost like 75 to 80 percent then we had a little rebound which was quite nice for people they could double their money if they would have bought here but uh, normally no one ever buys at the at the, at the at the bottom at the real bottom that's where you are 
And since then we are trading, I would then say, yeah, since June we're trading sideways, so nothing special actually to see here. But, but this could also be um, a chance since uh, calm down a little bit the trading. So maybe we see again a little, a bit higher, but the fundamentals, as I said, are not so positive overall. So very volatile. It's a very risky investment in the sense so therefore but it's worth to take a closer look at it and to have it on your on your watch list for gaming stocks so i'm not going to take it now uh, as a as a regular um, gaming stock uh, I, in my in my in my 10 favorite gaming stocks uh, videos but i'm talking maybe from time to time a little bit more often about those stocks all right let's check the wikipedia page because it's interesting to see where they're actually coming from so it's uh, traded as uh, at this at the hong kong stock exchange uh, founded in 898 20 years ago in san diego california founders are min liang ton robert krakow headquarters is in singapore san francisco and those are then the key people the, and they have like 1451 employees that's a lot my friends and subsidiaries are Uga. i think they wanted to make a console once next bit and thx so everyone knows razor so razor incorporation is a global gaming hardware manufacturing company as well as an esports and financial services provider established in 2005 in san diego california by singaporean entrepreneur min liang tan and robert cracker after securing a large investment from hong kong tycoon li ka ching and singapore's Temasek Holdings. The company has dual headquarters in Singapore and San Francisco and has been listed at the Hong Kong Stock Exchange since November 2017, as I said. According to Razer's IPO perspective, Razer has built the largest global gamer ecosystem of hardware, software, and services. Razer is considered one of the pioneers of esports as well as one of the biggest brands in esports today. Its founder, Min Liang Tan, has been credited as the brain behind Razer, directing, overseeing, the design and development of all of its products then you get some more information about the history and then here about the product so yeah it's 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 a young company it's a young company at the stock market so that's also very important to keep this in mind my friends uh, it's an accessory company and what was going on here with the payment with Vivo prepaid? The latest pairing between a tech startup and a financial titan is a digital prepaid card to target at Southeast Asia unbanked under and underserved population. Okay, interesting. Then they launched an energy drink, Razer energy drink. Razer's mental performance drink probably won't quench its thirst. Then the new Kraken headset, Razer updates the blade with NVIDIA's new Quadro RTX 5000. What a crazy machine, my friends. Seven years later, the Ouya is dead for real. Yeah, clapping for this. Everyone is happy. <laughs> no, no, I'm not happy for this. So. Mobile gaming collaboration with Tencent. Here we go. Tencent is also now playing the game with razors are very interesting okay recommendation ratings is hold analyst price targets current is 0 0.19 which is pretty low but where are we yeah 0 0.19 i oh, know that's where we are sorry sorry for this my friends so the average is uh, 0 0.25 okay the analyst price target is then not too bad and yeah we see what we what we see if we look at all of this is see, we see that the razor razor comes from an ipo at 50 dollars cents and it's dropping massively the company is great everyone likes the products they even have nice new corporations they brought out an energy drink just kidding but they're swimming on the esports world so do they have a do they do they are they alone do they have a um, um, mouth mood i think that's how we call it in english sorry for this uh, 
mm, very difficult. So there's Logitech, there's Corsair, so they're also other, uh, other companies for, for gaming accessories. So they're not really alone there uh, in the market. So at the moment, I would say they're trading a little bit sideways. It's possible, it's possible that with the next esports uh, pump, and maybe another corporation you can even double your money but it's very volatile so it's a very high risk uh, investment and it also depends a little bit how now the numbers are going to be in 2019 the earnings are if they're still then having the debts or if they're going to turn into positive which would would definitely give this stock a nice pump so it's a stock keep it on your watch list if you if you like the risky investment maybe it's already a way for you to go on the other hand yeah risky as always so they're young young tech startup they already have products that's already good so you can play use those products and yeah keep this in mind so sometimes those are the gaming the, the stocks that in 10 years you ask yourself why didn't i buy it buy it at 19 dollar cents and then it's two dollars so. And you know what this means, it's a 10 bagger. So it could be a 10 bagger in 10 years? Possibly, who knows? No one knows it. So. But yeah. All right, I would say Razer company, great. Stock a little bit difficult. Keep it on the watch list. And yeah, jump, jump to Yahoo Finance or any other page with financial data and check out the financial data. Read them a little bit and try to understand what's going on with Razer and if there is the potential for, for Tanbanger here even. Who's, who knows, who knows. All right, my friends, I'm leaving it here. I hope you leave me a commentary under this video or a thumbs up. Don't, don't forget to smash the like button, some other YouTubers always say, which annoys me a lot. So yeah, if you like to do it, do it. If not, I don't care. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Let's, yeah, let's see you the next time, my friends. Bye-bye.